What is up party people? My name is Daryl and welcome to the complete Facebook advertising tutorial. Today I'm going to take you from a complete beginner with Facebook ads to someone who can manage it for yourself or for your own business. Now let me give you a quick demo of what Facebook ads have done for me and how I have grown my page to over 8,000 followers. So this is my current Facebook fan page and right here you can see I have over 104 positive reviews on my Facebook page. I have over 8,178 likes. I have you know 8,300 people following my page and I have a lot of engagement on my page. Now I have grown my page so tremendously over the years that I don't really even have to advertise anymore because my audience will actually engage in my content without me having to pay for it. So here you can see I made a post and it's reaching a lot of my audience and people are engaging in it. They are liking it, they are commenting it, they are sharing it. So I'll show you exactly how I did this so you can apply it for your own business as well. Here you can see I made a quick post and I received almost 100 likes. Almost 100, I got 83, and I have reached 8, 928 people without even advertising it. So right there, you're getting free advertisement once you kind of start to grow your page. Also in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a lot of beautiful images so you can advertise properly. So a lot of times when I see people advertise, they use really bad Listen. images, and it just doesn't look good. So in this video, I'll give you a free resource on how you can have professional, beautiful images that will give your company a great professional image. Next, I'll be talking about how you can add video ads to your ads. So let's say, for example, you want to run video ads and you know by now video ads go viral. You've seen those ads on or those videos on Facebook where they get like 100, you know, a million views or something like that because video ads are very popular on Facebook. So you can have an ad that looks just like this right here. So here we have this guy and, you know, I made this myself and I'll show you how to make this with no experience required. So here we got this guy in a ballerina outfit. And this could be your company. And companies like Disney, AAA, Capital One all use this same service. So I'll show you how you can apply it for your own Facebook fan page. So if you're ready to start, if you're really ready to start to learn how to use Facebook ads professionally and you really want to do it the right way and you want a lot of helpful resources, keep watching because we are about to start right now. Let's go ahead and get started in this tutorial. So let's go ahead and first create a fan, a fan page. Now, Again, uh, don't leave me a comment saying that uh, uh, people are getting a private. You guys, you have to use a fan page. You cannot use your personal profile. In my last tutorial, I had a lot of questions about that, saying people were getting um, you know, errors, saying it's a private, because it's a private profile. You want to use a fan page. So the first thing you'll have to do is create a fan page. Now you can go over here to your settings right here, and then you can go to create a page. And right here, you get options. So are you a community or a public figure or are you a business or a brand? So if you're one of those Instagram models who want millions and millions of likes, you can you know go there. And if you're just a business and you want to sell something, you would click on business or brand right here. And they're going to ask you some questions. Now, these are very basic questions. So they're going to be asking you about your business or your brand. They're going to ask you for your address. They're going to ask about a cover photo and also images you might want to add for your Facebook fan page. Don't worry about that. I will have you all covered about all that. So here, I'll just put like, uh, we'll pretend we're a dog store. And we sell dog products or uh, uh, pet products. Here we go. Pet products. Pet store. There we go. Pet store. All right. And then right here, I'll just go ahead and put in um, an address. All right, and of course, you'd want to put in your information right here. Make sure to put in the correct information because remember, uh, people will be able to search you up on that information right here. And then right here, it says add a, a profile picture. So if you have a, a company logo or something that you want to add to represent your business, this is where you are going to add it. Here, I'm going to go ahead and skip this. And then right here, you're going to add a cover photo. Now, a great way to add cover photos is this website right here, canva.com. Uh, canva.com actually has over 50,000 different uh, uh, types of, um, I guess, cover photos. So you can apply those to your website. Now, you can also use them for YouTube. You can use them for virtually any other service. They do have most of them for free. However, some of them are paid. So you might want to just go through this list. Uh, the links are in the description of this video to canva.com. They do have a lot of really nice designs as far as the Facebook covers go. And also they have them for Facebook posts as well. So I'll talk more about that when we get into the advertising. So going back over here, I'm gonna go ahead and skip that. And congratulations, you are now done. You have successfully created your Facebook fan page. Now I'm gonna give you some basic tips, but these are even ignored by top professionals. So one of the things is when you are making your fan, fan page, make sure everything is filled out. Make sure you have a cover photo, make sure you have a photo 
on the about or the information about your company, put everything. In fact, when you see the about us section, put in your website, put in everything possible. So when your visitors come to your website, they know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly who they're dealing with. And if there is a spot for a website, please put it in your website. And in fact, I have a tutorial on how to make a WordPress website with zero experience down below. It has over 300,000 views. It gets tons of positive reviews because I'm a very good instructor when it comes to WordPress websites. So right here, you're gonna put in your business info and everything. So once you are done filling all this out and this and everything, make a post, you know, saying, hey, welcome to my page, we're new. And just, you know, just introduce yourself, but with an introduction. And remember, be consistent. You wanna post at least once or twice a week. You don't wanna advertise every twice a week, but you wanna at least post once or twice a week, right? So let's go ahead and go back over to my fan page. Now, a good thing I tell people is, if I sent a million customers to your fan page tomorrow, will it be ready to handle that traffic? You know, how many people are you gonna lose by it looking like crap? Is it gonna look great, look like crap? If it's not ready, you're not ready to advertise, go back and fix it. Don't worry, Facebook is not going anywhere. All right, so once we are done with all that, now I made a post right here. Now I'm gonna take you to on um, take you to something where I'm going to do myself, where I'm going to actually this is a live advertisement. I'm really gonna use this ad and I'm really gonna promote it. So I made the post right here 18 hours ago. Now I want to boost this post. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to boost it from your actual front end. I'm going to show you how you can create a post from the ads manager, and then we will do conversions, which is selling products. So if you're selling something, I'll run you through tips and tricks on how you might want to promote your products on those websites or on your website. So I made this post right here. Now my main concern right here is not sales. I want traffic because people that are engaged in WordPress might want to read this post. So right here, I'm gonna click on boost post. So whenever you make a post, you will get a boost post. Now this is one of the ways you can advertise. The other way I'll talk about in just a little bit. Now I've already made custom audiences. Now I'm gonna start from complete scratch so you can know exactly what to do right here. So right here, I've already made my audience because by now I know my audience, but I want to create a new audience. You know, I want to start from scratch. So website visits, encourage people to visit your website. Right here we have website visits, engagement, comments, or shares, messages. You know, for this one right here, you know, I might want to do engagement because I really want people to engage and comment on it and maybe even share it so that people that I don't know or people that don't see my, fa my fan page can actually have access to it. So right here, I'm gonna go to engagements. Sure, I can do website visits. I might even wanna run two. You know, I can have one for website visits and one for engagement. There is no limit, and that is called A-B split testing. We'll talk more about that a little bit later. So here, I'll do, um, I'll, do, I'll do engagement right here. Now, right here, I'm gonna go to create a new audience. All right, and right here, I'm gonna do my blog post for WordPress. In case you don't know what WordPress is, WordPress is a platform that powers one third of the internet that makes making websites super easy. It's way better than Wix and, and Weebly and all those other, other websites. I don't know if it's better than Shopify. There's debate about that. I prefer WordPress over Shopify, but there are a lot of Shopify people out there who love it. Now, one of the things is, you know, when you're creating ads, who is your audience? Do you know your audience? If you don't know your audience, well, you can go ahead and search it out by the Facebook ads audience insight. So over here, I'm going to go to my ads manager and right here you see all tools and go to audience insight. Now I will leave this link in the description below so you can just go ahead and click on it and have access to it. And this is basically where you're going to do all of your research. So first off, um, who do you want to advertise to? Well, I'm going to advertise in the United States. What age, you know, what age do you want to, you know, go for right now? I'm going to put 18 to any, cause I have no idea who's interested in my product. Well, I already do, but I'm just going to give you a demonstration of if I didn't. So we're over here, I'll put interests. Well, I want people interested in WordPress, right? I mean, uh, WordPress. So here I'm gonna type in WordPress. All right. So we got WordPress. Now it looks like it's already given us information here. So right here, you can see the age of 25 to 34 have some of the highest activity right here. Now, what I really like about Facebook is the page likes. So sure, you have all this information right here, which is always great. So right now you probably wanna to advertise to someone between the age of 25 to 34, maybe that are even married. It looks like a lot of people that are married are engaged in WordPress and people who have, or, or who are, I guess you can say um, their highest reach was college was is also something that you you want to do, but I I wouldn't base it on that because WordPress can also be people who have um, no college degree as well. So I might just go after the age group because they might get filtered in there anyways. So right here I'll go to page likes. Now this is great. So 
basically I'm kind of searching, you know, people that are interested in WordPress, who else are they interested in? You know, where else are they going? So right here you can see the top categories are w, WP Beginner, The Points Guy, HubSpot, Amazon Kindle, Facebook Business. Now, when you do your research, you you might need to go and actually visit these websites and really think about it. Are these people really interested in WordPress? So let's go over here right here, The Points Guy. I have no idea who this person is, The Points Guy. Looking right here, I don't think this has anything to do with WordPress. This has absolutely nothing to do. With, this, is, this is like a, a, a an airplane advertisement or, or airplane, something with airplanes. I don't know. So even though the audience insight says that they have an interest in this, personally, I don't think that's, that's true. So right here, I'm not going to even be interested in points guide. Let's take a look at WP Beginner. The beginner WordPress, you know, all this stuff. Okay. You know, we have some, we have some similarities here and right here, WordPress for beginners. Okay, cool. So WordPress, WordPress stuff and all this WordPress stuff. Okay. I'm safe to say that this is a group that we can actually start to advertise to their audience to bring them to our fan page. So that is why we go over here. We take a look at the like the page likes because we can kind of determine what people are already liking and kind of advertise to those people to get them engaged in our page because obviously they're already liking and they're already sharing stuff. So let's, let's we want that on our page, you know? And then right here, you can also do location as well. So right here, it looks like Nashville, Tennessee has some of the highest engagement with people interested in WordPress. That is probably because there was a... Um, there was a WordPress camp in Tennessee. That's probably why. In fact, it was in Nashville. So maybe that has some correlation with it, you know, and activity as well right here. You can kind of see the activities as well. So the frequency of activities, you can kind of take a look at this, but I personally am more concerned on the page likes and also the demographics as well. So right here under the age group, now I'm just going based off what Facebook is telling me. And then later on, we can always kind of run different campaigns against each other to see what works. So here, for example, I want to go ahead and say, all right, I want to advertise to people between the ages of 25 and 34. And it looks like, it looks like women and men are engaged, you know? So it looks like we have a, a decent amount of men and women. So I'm going to go ahead and leave men and women. Now over here, you can kind of see, you know, pages we're connected to. So right now we can kind of get enough information to kind of to say, okay, these are the people that are interested in our page. So just based off me typing in WordPress, I already have enough information. So I'm going to go ahead and just go back over here and just leave this at all. We'll just go ahead and leave all this blank. And now let's go ahead and go back to our page. And I want to go ahead and select 25 to 35. I'm going to select all. And right here, I'm going to select United States. Now you can always add other specific locations. So for example, if you want to advertise to people in the United States and also Denmark, you would type in Denmark. So as of right now, we are advertising to people in the United States and also Denmark. Now I didn't really check Denmark, but you can always go ahead and do your own research to decide, you know, um, are people interested in WordPress in Denmark? Are people interested in health products in Australia? It's really up to your niche. So you need to kind of do your research, find out, you know, search a country, search your niche. You know, if you're into uh, fixing up cars or whatever, you would type in like auto repair and then type in a country. See, see how it reacts. See, see how uh, the audience is. So I know for a fact that people are engaged in WordPress between the ages of 35, I'm 25 to 35 in the United States. So it's going back down here. Now, people who must like this interest. Now, this is probably one of the most important parts. So I'm going to type in WordPress right here. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Wow, that is that is unacceptable here. WordPress. And right here we have WordPress and WordPress.com, WordPress developer. Now I'm just going to do WordPress. Now, right now you can see that I have the audience of 200,000 people and it's very defined. So that means hey, it's very listen. targeted. So we're targeting the correct people. So right here you can see we have the little, um, you know, hey, good job. Your audience is defined. Now I'm going to talk about things about excluding or narrowing audience and why you'd want to do this. Well, Maybe people are using Wix. You know that website Wix, you know, where it's, everything's free. We might not want people to watch our ad or we might not want it to market it to them because maybe they already have their website. But you know, when you're thinking about this, maybe they have Wix and maybe they don't like it. You know, there's a lot of different ways you can kind of think about this. But I'm gonna say, you know what? I don't want, I want to exclude people who, you know, who, uh, who have Wix. All right, so people that are interested in Wix, I don't want any involvement from. Also Weebly, you know? So, you know, people from Wix and Weebly, I just don't want, I don't want anything to go to them. So you can see out there, 10,000 people have been knocked off. So people that were using Weebly and Wix, you know, now they are not in our search. Now, why I looked up the, the likes over there before, how we saw that was because 
maybe I want to go ahead and do something else where we can actually have people um, not just excluded, but must also like. So right here, you can put must also like, and maybe we can put in WP beginner right here. So now we're basically saying that people who are interested in WordPress that also like WP beginner will market to. Now, even though it says it's too specific, you know, that doesn't mean it's, it's necessarily bad, but I'm just giving you an example of how you can apply that. So right here, I'm going to say, all right, so people who like WordPress and they must also like WP beginner. So I think right there, that is probably a safe assumption over here. We have, you know, we've excluded Weebly and Wix as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save right here. Now it did say it's too specific. That probably means that there are not enough people out there. So one thing I can do is I can probably just run WordPress and then maybe I can kind of uh, split test it to see uh, how it's performing with people who are interested in WP beginner and then just WordPress itself. So kind of, you know, separate them. So we'll also set our budget right here. So I basically set our, our audience right there. Now, right here we have total budget. So I'm going to set something like a hundred dollars and I want this to run for at least seven days. So right here we have seven dollars or a hundred dollars for seven days and I will spend $14 and 28 cents per day. Now, if, if you're a beginner, you might want to just spend like maybe, I don't know, like $10 a day, $5 a day, just to see how it, you know, how it affects your website and see what kind of, um, you know, what kind of engagement you're getting here, Facebook pixel, we don't need to put this because again, I just want visitors in this example. So I'm not going to select this. And then right there, I put it in my card already. So right here, I can see how it looks on the desktop. And right here is the mobile newsfeed as well. So that is how it looks like on a mobile newsfeed. And then right here we have learn more. I can change that to something like shop now, book now, sign up, send a message, etc. So right here I can see that it looks like my ad is ready to go. I don't want to run it on messenger. I don't think that's a good, I don't like messenger. I feel like the quality is very low. You know, when you get messages on, on your, on your, your, your Facebook, you know, with the little like messages, you see the ad in between. I mean, does that really perform well? I personally don't think so. So right here I'm going to say, okay, this is ready. Let's go ahead and boost this post right now. Right now it is submitting it and then also it will go in review. So right now it is in review. And then right here we have the age of 25 to 35. Now, if your ad ever gets rejected, it's probably because of the text. So Facebook does not like text. I don't know why, but the more text you have, the more they inc they're inclined to kind of um, deny your post. And sometimes when it's too specific, they might actually decline it saying, you know, your post is not going to reach a lot of people. You might want to take it something else. So if my ad comes back rejected, I can go ahead and make some changes, maybe change the image, or I can go ahead and make the audience a little bit more defined instead of too narrow. So over here, I'll go to close. So I basically made one right here. Now, right here, you can start to see that this one right here is in review and it should be reaching a lot of people that are engaged in WordPress. Now that was basically a quick, a quick way to do it. Now it wasn't too advanced because the ads manager is actually a little bit more powerful than this right here. So I don't recommend this, not unless you start to create your own audience in the back. So right now we're gonna go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead now and go over here to create ads. Now I'm going to give you a different examples. You know, I want to kind of open up your mind to kind of see how Facebook advertising works and how strategy comes into play. So right here, you can kind of see that we have different marketing objectives. So what is your objective on Facebook? Do you want people just to see your brand? You know, brand awareness is one of the most powerful things out there. You know, when you see all these companies like McDonald's advertise, that is all brand awareness. Like whenever you see that arch, you know, in your head, that's McDonald's because they have grained it into your brain with brand, brand awareness. So brand awareness is one of the most uh, powerful ones. I believe so. Uh, consideration, engagement, and traffic are probably one of the best. And of course, if you're selling something, you'd want to do conversions. What we did before right here was engagement. So what I just did was engagement. And then right here, you can do something like brand awareness. There is not that much difference in the settings. You know, there's very small differences, like maybe, maybe like impressions and cost per click. But uh, Facebook basically knows their audience and they will basically decide who this ad should be shown based off what you pick. So right here, you have traffic, engagement, and then we have conversion. So what we did was engagement. Let's do something like traffic really quick and then we'll do conversions and you know, just to give you an example of what that is. So right here, we'll do traffic one. Now you can actually do a complete ad from scratch or you can use an existing post. Now in this example, I'm just going to create it from complete scratch just to give you an example. Now in this example, I'm going to use, 
I'm gonna use something like fitness, okay? This is just an example. So let's pretend I'm a fitness company at this point and I'm selling like health products like diet pills and creatine and all that stuff for my, uh, my viewers. So right now we are a health company, okay? So traffic, I wanted to go to my website. Now, if you are selling an app, you'd probably want to go back and do the app install. You know, app install for Instagram is one of the best ones, but Instagram for like a construction company is not, is, you're wasting your money. So if you're like an, a construction company or doctor trying to advertise on Instagram, pff, good luck, dude, you're not gonna make anything. But if you are, if you have your own app with a video game, pff, you're gonna get really high engagement. So right here, uh, we have our ad set. And then right here, I'll do something like um, health, health store one. Now, the reason why I do one is because later on, we can create another ad with health store two, health store three, and then you can kind of compare them against each other to see which one's performing the best, right? So let's go ahead and scroll down right here. Offer. This is a great one. You know, if you are selling something, you can always go ahead and click on the offer and then it will create an offer. But I probably want to do this if uh, I'm selling something. Now also, you can do this if you are trying to get leads for something. So if you have a squeeze page where you're trying to get people to sign up for your webinar or you can buy a program for a million dollars, which I've seen quite a bit on, on YouTube, <laughs> you can go ahead and do that. I've seen a lot of YouTubers do that and it must be working for them because they're advertising it, right? So I've seen it and maybe people are signing up for it, so it is probably working. So right here, we have custom audiences. Now, if you're brand new, you won't have a custom audience. You'll just have like, you'll have to start one from scratch and then you can save the audience a little bit later. So once you make an audience, you can always save it just like in the beginning where I had a WordPress blog post because I've already saved my audience. So let's go ahead and do some research. So right here, we have all this information right now. Now I wanna go back over here and I wanna start doing something like, you know, health products or fitness, you know? You know, let's do some research right here, fitness. Now I am not selling anything, you know, I'm just guessing right here. So we have something like muscle loss, or sorry, weight loss, muscle loss, the muscle and fitness. Those are probably one of the two best that I think are for our store. So right here we have muscle, uh, weight loss. And it looks like women right here are a huge majority. So right here you can kind of see that 83% of the people looking for these products are women. Now, what is one of the highest engagements? Well, it looks like people between the ages of 25, 25 to 54. Now, the reason why is because, let's be honest, you know, when women are young, like in high school, they have beautiful bodies because their metabolisms are really fast. As they get older, you know, their metabolism slows down and they might gain some weights and they might say, hey, you know, I'm not beautiful like I used to be in high school, so I wanna take some, you know, pills to see if I can uh, make that, make myself look better. And it looks like here that a lot of the people that are uh, women that are interested in diet pills are women that are married. Maybe because you know how it is when you're in a relationship. Let's be honest. You get in a relationship, you're dating a girl, you guys go out, you, you both gain weight. You know, it's just what happens in relationships. So maybe people are saying, man, I really want to, you know, I really want to get out of that. And then right here, you can kind of see the job titles. Now, personally, I don't believe the job titles would have a significant difference because these are probably just their jobs. So this is kind of hard to understand because I'm personally thinking to myself, you know, women that want diet pills can be working anywhere. So this right here can kind of be irrelevant in some ways, if you know what I'm saying. So let's go back over here. Let's go to page likes. Let's see what people are also liking that are interested in weight loss. So right here we have medical, we have a uh, traditional medic, medic, medic kennels, the paleo secret, oh, beyond diets, clinique, ancient nutrition, et cetera. So just by looking at some of these, we can kind of get an idea of who we want to market to. Like for example, Weight Watchers, which sell that horrible frozen food that's god awful. You can kind of decide, you know, hey, should I advertise to these people? Because, um, you know, women might be interested in Weight Watchers. And I think Weight Watchers probably has a bigger audience for women than men. You know, I don't think much men are actually interested in Weight Watchers. You know, they would want to go to the gym and work out or something. Uh, right here, Beyond Diet as well. So right here, this looks great. This looks like something, this looks like a winner right here. So Beyond Diet right here, it's showing down almost 2 million likes right here. And we can kind of see that it looks like women right here are mostly engaged. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back. So we have our information right here. I would say Beyond Diets and maybe even Clinique. We can kind of see what is Clinique. You know, I don't think this is, you know, no, 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 no. This is like a women's, you know, this wouldn't work out. So I think we have enough information beyond diets and Weight Watchers would be something great. So let's go ahead and just go after those two, Weight Watchers and Beyond Diet. So going back to our ad, I'm gonna select the United States and going back over here. Now you can also go to location and find out what specific states 
maybe are i think texas has the actual fattest people like in in the united states i think texas does so yeah i'm correct right here we have texas we have a very large audience in texas so maybe texas las vegas you know etc so maybe right here you want to do something like texas nevada and florida and see how that works so let's do that let's go ahead and do that so right here i'm going to do texas Wait, 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 what city in Texas? Let's check that out. San Antonio, Texas. Okay, let, let's get even more. San Antonio. San Antonio, Texas, right? And within what miles? Now, I'm just going to go ahead and say, let's just do 50 miles. So what this means is that what radius of people do you want to market to in that area? Now, depending if you're a brick and mortar store, you might want to set it to like maybe 20 miles, you know, because you're basically, you're, you're advertising to people within a certain radius. If it's too far for them, they're not going to drive, you know? So they're going to say, no, nah, I'll just go to GNC down the street. I'll just, I'll go somewhere, I'll go somewhere local. So right here, you might want to decide if you are a brick and mortar store, which is a store like, you know, like GNC or something that you want to put it at a certain radius right here where people can actually reach you. So, you know, 15 miles is good. You know, they say, oh, you know, San Antonio, it looks good. And just looking at it right here, it looks like that's a perfect radius right there. So San Antonio, Texas, we also have Las Vegas, Nevada. Lost a lot of money there. Pygao killed me. Las Vegas, Nevada. We'll do another 15 miles. And also we have Florida, Orlando, Florida. It's the team Shaq used to play on. Hmm. Way back in the day, back when he was with Magic, you know. Orlando, Florida right here. And then we'll set this to another... 15 miles now i don't know how many people there are in this audience yet so right here it looks like there is 5.6 million people so i think we have a great amount of audience you know that might be actually be too much you know because that is quite a bit and right here we'll set the age now this will really kind of narrow our audience so i'm gonna go ahead and select women only for this campaign because looking at this it looks like most women are more concerned about losing weight than men are and i want to select the ages between the ages of 25 25 to 44 because i think women in their 45s might not be inclined to take diet pills because they might think that it's not good for their health or something so let's just go ahead and assume that it's 25 to 44 25 to 44 i hope i don't get any heat for this in the comments which i usually do they're like what are you calling us fat it's like no i'm just i'm just you know it's just the it's this business you know we want to make money you know so i'm not saying like women are big i'm just you know this is just an example a terrible example so right here we have 25 to 44, you know, so right now you can kind of see that our audience is very defined and it's looking great. Eng language, I'm going to put English. Now, just based off our results right here, I don't really even think we need to even include those people from those other pages right here. So right here we have page likes. We can go ahead and set something like um, Weight Watchers, but, you know, I, I don't know, but maybe that's a good idea. So right here we'll do Weight Watchers. Because remember, people with Weight Watchers are already buying a product. They're already buying something. So by us advertising it to them, it's even better. You know, Now that's much better, 230,000 people. So what don't we want them to see? Well, exclude a group. So maybe in the comments you can put below of who you would exclude in this group right here. So you have women who are between the ages of 25 to 44 interested in Weight Watchers, which is perfect because they're already buying products, meaning they're willing to pay for something to lose weight. Who don't we want in this group? Well, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I really, I, I, it's hard, it's hard to say who we want to exclude here. You know, what women we would want to exclude because the women that we're talking about are already interested in diet pills. I'm going to go ahead and just leave that blank. I'm going to say, you know what? I don't think that I want to exclude anyone for this audience. Now we can always test this out too, by kind of just messing around. So we have Weight Watchers here. Let's, what about Beyond Diet? What would Beyond Diet do to our search right here? We can do Beyond Diet. Let's see, Beyond Diet. Okay, so our audience grew, it was around the same. So, but this is perfect right here. This is a great example of what you want to see. We have very defined, we have a, a very good search. So right here, if you are in the, the if you are in the, the, the diet pills sector, this is where you want to be right here. And right here, we can always save this audience for a little bit later. So right here, I'm gonna click on save. And then again, we can always, you know, use that later for a different campaign. So you can kind of tweak your campaign, but just based off what I've seen so far, I would say, I would say it's safe to say that, uh, that is a great campaign. So the next thing we have to do is go to placements. Now I'm going to give you my personal opinion about placements. So at first I use edit placements all the time because right here you can see where they're going to put your ad. Well, they're going to put it right here in the feeds. 
instant articles, in-stream videos, right column, the marketplace, feed stories. They're going to put it everywhere. Now, I only like the feeds, to be honest. So, you know, when you're scrolling on Facebook, those feeds right there, that's where I want my ad to show. However, I used to do that, but Facebook recently added the you know automatic placements and they will actually decide where it's performing the best. So by setting automatic placements, you're getting information on where your audience likes to see their, you know, their advertisements. So maybe, I mean, for example, right here, you have the right column. I think the right column is a complete waste, but there was an instance where I had a client a long time ago and it performed really well right there. And I'm kind of thinking to myself, a right column, you know, I never, I never click there, but people do, you know, you, you never know. So right here, I'm gonna do automatic placements and let Facebook decide where it's the best. And then they can actually report it to me so I can kind of adjust my campaign next time to say, okay, it performed the best in these three areas. The next time I'm going to post it in those three areas only, you know, so you are going to spend a little bit of trial and error on this. You are going to kind of mess up a little bit, but it's, you know, it's, it's okay. You're getting information. That's what you're paying for is the information daily budget right here. I'll set this to 10 bucks. Now, right here, you can set it on a schedule. Now, right here, you have a start date and end dates. And I recommend this. So let's go back over here to kind of see, um, or on our, on our front page, I had more information on the time. So once you actually advertise it, you will get more information on the time. So let's go ahead and go back over to my, um, let's go ahead and back, go back over to my, uh, my first one and just give you an example of the time. So let's, let's do that. It was my audience thing right there. All right. So let's go, let's just go back here. We'll just go back to Facebook and then I'll show you the actual best uh, possible things of my time right here. So I'm gonna go back to my page. Oh, I'll just go to manage ads. Duh. All right. This is my account. Spent two grand last month. And all right. Account overview. Here we go. So this is what I want to show you. So you might not know the time to basically advertise to people. Now I actually do in, in my personal instance or case I do, because right here you can kind of see after you've advertised and started to gather data, you can kind of see, okay, people right here are most interested. So right here you can see people between the time of 9 AM to nine, I want to say maybe 10 PM. We'll just say 10 PM are more inclined to click on our ads. Now you can even do it on the highest part right there. You know, you can, set it for like, you can set all your budget for one hour. Maybe it's, you know, a rush hour, you might get more traffic, but you might want to kind of, you know, run the ad. Uh, you know, I don't think insights will actually tell you what time it is until you advertise it. But based off my advertisements, this is the best engagement rate. So I would not want to advertise at four in the morning. You know, that's just, there's no reason for that. But between 9 a.m. to nine or maybe 10 o'clock, I should advertise because that is where people are engaging in my content the most. So when you do your ads manager, you want to set the dates, you want to set the time, and you know, you can kind of mess around here. All right. So that's just, I'm just giving you an example of how you can run this. So let's go back over here. We have optimization for added delivery. So right here we have link clicks, impressions, daily page views, etc. Now I recommend link clicks. You know, I think link clicks is probably one of the most optimal ones right here for optimization for ad delivery, uh, here bid strategy. Um, you know, I don't recommend setting a bid cap and neither does, neither does, um, Facebook because if you set a bid cap, and your ads might cost more based off your ad performance, they won't show. So you're wasting time. You know, it's okay to make mistakes for $10 a day, right? You're, you're, you're paying for the information that you're getting. So I know it sounds good in theory, like, oh, setting a bid cap, I'll be safe. But then again, if the click goes higher than that cost, you're not getting information. So maybe your ad really sucks and you don't know that you're not going to get that information. So you might want, not want to set a bid cap, but later on, once you have it optimal, and you can kind of see it's very close, you know, you'll set it to the, the spot to make sure you're not wasting any money. And then right here, you know, where you'll get charged, uh, we have link click, and then you also have impression. So I think impressions are better for something like brand awareness and then link clicks are better for something like engagement. And of course you can always hover it and decide, but I think the best thing to do is probably just, you know, I, I would say, you know, I change it sometimes because again, with link click, you will get charged for impressions on the people you reach. Uh, I'll just go ahead and leave it as link click CPC. And add scheduling, you can run them all the time and you can run them with scheduling. But it looks like right here, the scheduling is only available with lifetime budgets. So with really big budgets right here. And that really does suck because you know you can do it right here, but uh, add scheduling is also really helpful. And right here, delivery type, you can do accelerated or you can do standard. Now, if you are not, accelerated is only for people who are using the lowest cost. So if you select the bid cap 
then you can select accelerated because by then you know your audience, you're a little bit, you're a little bit more, um, you know, uh, experienced, but uh, you're just gonna go and leave it as standard right there. All right, so I think we have everything ready. I think everything is ready to go. All right, it looks like our thing is all good. So right here, I'll click, click on continue. All right, and then we have right here, carousel, single image, single video, slideshow collection. I think something good for a blog post or something like that is a single image. And again, you can go to canva.com and you can kind of find something. They have over 1 million images right here. And once you, you know, mess around with this, you can go ahead and just download the image right there and then just download it. It's all free. You know, there are some premium images out there, so you might want to pay for that. And paying for ads, guys, is nothing to be ashamed of. You know, paying for uh, a really good ad. I mean, I spend $50 on images sometimes at Shutterstock. So that's just what it takes sometimes, you know, to make sure that your ad's performing well. Because remember, at the end of the day, this is all your money. You know, no one cares if you lose this money. So you really want to protect yourself and you want to make sure that you can have really good designs, you know, so that you're getting, you know, that people are clicking on your image. You don't want to have ugly images. And these right here are really nice. So right here is my image. It's all set. So once you're done kind of messing around with Canva, you can kind of, you know, type in something like, I don't know, like fitness. They have a, they have a bunch, you know. So something like this right here would be good. Now this one right here costs a dollar. So now you can kind of see how uh, some of these, uh, I mean, they gotta make money, you know, uh, no one likes free stuff, you know, it's free, 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 you know, uh, websites don't like that. So here you might wanna use this ad for something like, you know, uh, you know, things to look out for the summer and then maybe add a text over, et cetera. Now also when you look at this advertisement or this section right here, single image is great, but single video is even better. I think videos are probably the best things because how many times have you seen videos go viral? I've seen videos go viral all the time, but when the hell do you ever see an image go viral? Not unless it's like a celebrity doing some like, you know, a sex scene or something crazy like that, but an advertisement with an image never goes viral. An advertisement with a um, uh, video, it, it's, it's a possibility. It can go viral. So I think video ads are one of the best ones. So this is a website. I'll, I'll put it in the um, description below. There is no affiliate link. You know, I'm not an affiliate for this company, but uh, let me just introduce you to this company. It's called Promo and it's like slide.ly. I don't know if it's slide.ly or whatever, but right here, I'm gonna go to start now. Now I'm just gonna give you an example of how easy this is and I'm not, I'm not trying to sell you on something. I'm just trying to help you. Because remember, I'm not an affiliate here. I don't make any money if you buy this. So I'm not trying to promote it. But I am an affiliate for you know WordPress. So if you want to like have an e-commerce website, that is down below. But let's select something like, um, we're going to do health right here. So um, this one was good for health, you know. Uh, photo shoots. This is Dave. This is Michael. Load more. Let's kind of see what we got here. Keep dancing. Let's see right here. Maybe something like this right here would be like, oh, I lost five pounds and now I'm super happy. Okay, let's do this one right here. We're gonna customize this one. This one looks good. So we can say like uh, Jenna just lost five pounds, you know, or whatever, you know. So right here is the text that you can add and then they already have it right here. So let's say for example right here, I wanna go ahead and change this right here. I'm gonna double click and say, want to lose weight like Jenny. And then right here, I'll change this to something. I don't know, what, what should this be? You know, you're the marketing expert now. Now you can kind of understand what to do. So here I'll put, um, or uh, join or join everyone losing weight. That's a good one. Join everybody losing weights, right? So right here I'll put join. All right. And then right here we have the outro where you can, you know, just basically, you know, talk about your company, put your logo, and then right here, www.yourwebsite.com. Now, I made that. Now, again, right here, we can always move this wherever we want, you know. So right here, I'll put this, like, right up there. And you can always add in more. You can get more customizable. You can change the font. You can even add your own music as well. And you can even add your own images. I mean, this is a great website, and it creates really nice professional ads. So right here, I'm going to click on Save and Preview. So I made my ad. Let's take a look how this, let's see how this looks here. All right. Mixing music. That is a very nice logo they got. Want to lose weight like Jenny? Join everyone losing weight. And then bam, there you go. You just have a million dollar advertisement right there at your disposal. So uh, this right here is a great resource. So you can take that ad and then go ahead and put it in your advertisement right here under single video. I mean, 
half the time people don't use video is because they're like, oh, I gotta film myself and I'm ugly and I'm fat and you know, well, hire someone then, you know, hire someone beautiful like these girls, you know, these girls, they look great, they're having a good time, they just a lot of lost the weight, they're celebrating, it's encouraging, you know, it really is encouraging. But uh, for this instance, we're just gonna use a single image. Back to the boring image, you know, back to this stuff right here. Now they do give you free stock images right here where you can kind of use this, or you can go ahead and browse your own library and upload your own images right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just say, um, um, we can use free stock or browse a library, you know, we can use something. Um, so what are we doing again? We're doing um, weight loss pills. So let's go ahead and say, um, uh, let's see right here. We'll do something like, uh, you know, I don't really have anything with weight loss. You know, I really don't. We can use something like these girls right here. Uh, maybe they're like encouraging or something. Now, this is not a good ad. You know, this really is not a good ad. I'm just giving you an example of what you'd want to put there. So you'd probably want to go to canva.com and use one of those fitness ones like this right here, download it, and then go ahead and upload it to your to your section right here and then, you know, post it. So let's just say for instance, this is just a, a fitness ad right here. You know, I'm just not going to use a, a, an image from that site. So I'll just use, I'll just use this one. So what is your website URL? Well, I'm going to put uh, darylwilson.com. Sure. You're going to go ahead and put in your URL right there. And they've already, you know, pre-saved everything. They already know all about me. But um, right here, I'm going to put, um, um, let's see, for instance, that we're, we're selling a, a product. You know, we're going to say, um, get 10% off. All right, let's see. Uh, no, this is a good one. Want to lose weight? Want to lose weight? Shop our shop our diet selection and shred the weight fast. Like our testimonials, like our like our friends. And then maybe here you can say like, oh, the, these two girls, they um, they took our pills and now they're super skinny. So you might want to do it too. And then right here at the end, you can put, um, you know, one day sale, you know. You want to always create a sense of urgency. And then right here, you can do a headline like um, lose weight fast. When people see that, like lose weight fast, want to lose weight, it's an immediate attention grabber. They're like, oh, okay, lose weight. You know, that's what I want. So right here, lose weight fast. And then, um, you know, you, you guys get the point, you know, like lose weight fast and then, you know, um, et cetera. So here, this display link, if you want to go ahead and put a, a display link. So maybe you don't like that darylwilson.com. You don't like your link. You can always go and put in right here. News link, a news feed link description. So right here, you'd probably want to put something like um, join thousands others losing weight today. Now you can see that it kind of cuts off right there. So join thousands today, join thousands today. You want to, well, some tips. You want to create a sense of urgency. When people feel like the deal is going to uh, go away, they're more inclined to buy it. And when they have social proof that they're more inclined to get into it, like, oh man, 10,000 people, 1,000 people, they must be huge. Now, when you advertise, guys, you really want to get likes and you want to get shares and you want to get all that stuff before you start to advertise. So when you go to your page right here, are you more inclined to advertise it if it's blank, you know, if there's nothing there? Now, some big tips of advice before you start to advertise is one, get likes from all your friends, you know, post it, share it, saying, hey guys, I really need the likes, I really need the, the comments, please, can you please like my page? I'm really trying to start something here. Because remember, you have to pay for those likes eventually, and those likes can be expensive. They can range between the price of 50 cents to a dollar for quality likes. So you wanna, you know, share it with your friends, you wanna share it with your family and just say, hey, can you guys like my page? And then their friends are gonna see it, and then their friends are gonna see it, and maybe they can share it. My cousin out there, my cousin Will, he actually shares my stuff all the time, and people start to watch my website, and people start to, you know, learn how to make websites with my videos. So you know, there's no shame in asking people to like your stuff. You know, don't feel like you're embarrassed. You're just doing, you know, you're you're working. You know, that that's all you're doing, and you're gonna have to pay for those likes later. So you might as well get them for cheap from your family or friends. <clears throat> all right, so let's go back over here. Now, once we're done with this, you can go ahead and click on confirm, and then you can go ahead and start to advertise your your um, your your ad. So right here, let's go ahead and click on confirm. Now, if something's wrong, it's going to basically tell you, hey, you forgot to fill this out, or hey, you forgot to fill this out, et cetera. So right here, it says, um, ooh, it looks like a refund for something that happened with, with Facebook. Ooh, I received an ad credit. Wow, looks like Facebook's messing up here. 
Now here I'm gonna click on, uh, I'm not gonna you know post that, so I'm just going to make sure that's not running. So I've shown you how to do the, I've shown you how to do the engagement from the, the front end of the Facebook and then the back end. Now let's go ahead and talk about conversion, which is one of the last ones right here. So over here, we'll go ahead and set up a new ad. Um, let's see right here. Oh, over here, Duh, stupid. Now it's saying, hey, start where you left off. I'm not gonna go ahead and set that up. I'm, I'm just gonna ignore that. So right here we have brand awareness. Remember, I think brand awareness is great for people who are trying to get their brand out. Traffic, engagement are great. And remember, there's no shame in asking people to like your page. You know, I did that, you know, because I wanted likes, you know, because I know it's gonna cost you money if I don't ask someone, you know, you wanna save as much money as possible. You don't wanna give Facebook your money. You don't wanna give them. So right here we have conversions. And again, conversions are something that you want to uh, create sales for. So right here we have conversions. And I'll click on continue. So for this instance, let's pretend that we are a clothing company. Now I do have a Facebook page that's called Girls, and you know I just uh, it's a demo website. But so here I'll put Girls, Girls One. Now right here we can see the website. Now you will need to install a Facebook Pixel. Now what the Facebook Pixel does is that it's going to track if people are actually purchasing on your website. Now lucky for you, I have a full description or tutorial on that um, uh, on that video in the description below. So it's for WordPress and WooCommerce. So if you are using Shopify, I'm sorry, you're out of luck. You'll have to do that some other way. But if you're using a WordPress, um, I have a description on it. It's just a it's a it's a plugin you install, and it sets up the Facebook pixels for all your stuff. It's really fast and easy. So right here, I'm gonna say view content, add to cart, whatever. I'm gonna do purchase. So I want to be notified when people are actually purchasing that. Now it does say that I don't have it. You know, I'm not active with it because it's an inactive website. And then right here, we can do offer. Offers are great. So right here, I'll set offer. Right, right here, I'll put 20% off all summer close. And then one day sale. Or we can do something like a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit more, you know, um, you know, girls is having a one day sale for the sexiest summer clothes. Summer, summer. And then right here, you can set an end date, a time. And then right here, you can kind of see, um, you know, online only. If you have an online offer URL, you're going to want to and put it there. Now, let me just go ahead and go back to my page right here, and I will actually go to it. So this is my page right here. And then maybe you can go ahead and bring them to your current website. So online offer URL. So if you are selling something, you, this is the time you'd want to go to your e-commerce website. And this is the time where you'd want to actually... Um, um, you know, bring them, you know, to your website. So let's go ahead and go to my website. There it is. This is just a demo website. In fact, if you want to learn how to make this same website, uh, there is a link in the description below. It's the best uh, theme out there for e-commerce. So for example, let's just say I'm selling something, you know, one day. Let's just say, for instance, I'm selling, um, you know, uh, this right here. We'll, we'll sell this girl shirt right here. So just for instance, you know, I want to create an offer right here. I can go ahead and go back over here to my ads manager and then post this right here. And then um, I'll actually offer a code. So I'll put like uh, girls is my is my coupon code. So right now we're creating a sense of urgency. We have 20% off, expires really fast. It's only online and use this code quickly before it runs out. Like people are going to grab it and say, okay, I got to use this right now because that's how people are right there, you know? And then right here, total offers, we'll put something like 500. All right, and then right here, you know, you can um, hide the share option if you if you offer. You know, I, I don't know about that. You know, right here, if you have a terms and condition, you can always link it right there. And then right here, we can click on create as well. So right here, and click on create. So right now, we're creating an offer right now. So who is our audience right here? Now, well, let's go back over here, just like we did before. And, you know, let's go ahead and use the, the audience insight tool. So right here, audience insights. And let's kind of find out who is going to be the one or who is interested in, you know, purchasing our products. I'm gonna go ahead and close this one right here. I don't really need any of that stuff. So right here, everyone on Facebook. So right here, I want to select women because my store is strictly for women. And then right here, I'm gonna do, you know, um, fashion. Shopping and fashion, perfect. And of course, right now you can see it's 100% of women. So uh, yeah, actually, is it? Yeah, no, it's not. Men, men probably shop for their girlfriends. We have to consider that too. I mean, 38% of men, you know, are gonna be shopping on those websites and they're probably shopping on for their girlfriends. You know, it's like that one movie, um, what was it where Will Smith buys something lingerie for his wife? Enemy of the state, you know, it's like that, you know, and you walked in the store, look really stupid, but you know, that's just what happens. So shopping and fashion, we can do something like um, women's, 
women's women's clothing. There we go. Oh, they actually have a category for that, women's clothing. All right. And it looks like I'll just select all right here. It looks like right here we cannot get enough data right there. It looks like it's being a little weird. So I'll just type in something like women's clothing right here. Okay, you know, Facebook might just be weird right now. You know, that's unfortunate for my tutorial. So right here, I'll just do like um, shopping online. Shopping online and fashion, you know, shopping online, uh, beauty and industry. Here we go. I know we'll do, we'll scroll down right here. We'll kind of do some research, shopping and fashion, beauty. And then right here we have, um, uh, we have clothing right here and women's clothing right here. Let's hopefully it doesn't mess up. All right, cool. Looks like we got, we got our information right there. So right here, we can kind of see that women right here are a big majority of the audience. Now let's go to page likes really quick and see also who is liking this stuff. Now, this is very interesting. Now, right here, we can see that Fab Kids is number one. Now, can any of you, can any of you guess why Fab Kids is number one? It's because women that are probably shopping are probably either pregnant or have kids and they're probably shopping for kids. So this right here is irrelevant to our site. And this right here doesn't really work. So right here, the demographics we want, it looks like women between the ages of 25 to 34 are probably very inclined to shop. But since we're selling, you know, like somewhat provocative clothing, you know, on our site, we might want to include the younger audience. So remember, I'm gonna include 18 to 34, and then you can always split test it later. You can always decide to say, okay, I'm having a higher engagement with women that are 21. You know, maybe they wanna to go to the club. You know, maybe they wanna wear something sexy and, and go to the club with it. Then that's my target audience. So I'm gonna include them in my ad right there. So over here, 18 to 34, all right, 18 to 34. And then right here, let's look on uh, location right here. We can kind of see the top cities and also the top countries as well. So right here, it looks like El Paso, Texas, you know, has some of the best shoppers out there. Detroit, Michigan, Florida. We can also look by top countries as well. Well, United States, that's, oh, that's because I selected it there. Now, I, I'm only targeting United States, so I, I, I don't want to go to other countries because I don't want to sell international. But if you do, then you, you can kind of do your research. Like I told you before at the beginning, Denmark, because WordPress is like global, you know? So maybe right here, I'd want to shop to someone or advertise to someone in Guess. Guess right there is perfect. Uh, Poshmark, what, what is Poshmark? Let's, let's see what this is. Mm, okay, this looks like women's stuff. They got a lot of women's stuff. So it looks like Poshmark. Okay, I've never heard of Poshmark. Yeah, I don't watch TV, guys. I really don't. Like when someone's talking about the Kardashians, one of the the, the sisters, and I'm like, I'm like, who the hell is Jenna or Jenna or whatever her name is? I don't watch TV. I really don't. So here uh, we'll take a look at Poshmark, and then we'll also take a look at Guess. I think those are probably one of the two best ones. These other ones right here, like Shoe Dazzle. Yeah, what the hell's Yandy? Oh. All right, it looks like it is somewhat of a provocative clothing, which this could actually be something interested in because we are selling somewhat provocative clothing. So maybe people who are interested in, you know, bikinis and stuff might want our clothing. This doesn't look bad at all. I mean, this looks like more of summer clothes. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my list right here. So we'll do yandy.com, we'll do Poshmark and Guess. All right, that's perfect right there. So right here, we can go ahead and set Texas, you know, if you want, because we, we know the audience. So we know like um, the location, but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it on you know, the entire United States. I wanna see which states are you know, working the best right here. So I'm just gonna leave the entire United States, English. And then right here, we'll do target audience. We'll do, what was it right here? We got uh, women's clothing. All right, women's, women's clothing. Now also we're going to narrow the audience. So right here, people who also like guests, guest clothing, people who also like Poshmark and Poshmark. So it looks like right here, our, our selection might be too broad. Maybe we wanna go back and add certain states because it's saying that ours is way too broad because it looks like every single woman in the United States does a lot of online shopping, obviously. Oh, right here, I should've selected women right there. That's probably why. Well, that's much better actually. Now we only have 42 million instead of 80 or something million. So you might want to kind of keep doing it to narrow down your research, make sure you're not advertising to people that might not um, be interested in it. Now, exclude people. Now, I think a great person to exclude is people that are inter women that are inter in, um, interested in baby stuff because right now you can see that based off our audience right here that we are advertising to a lot of baby products. So Fab Kids and um, Fab Kids and Baby Center we wanna exclude. So right here, I'm going to exclude Fab Kids. 
And uh, what was the other one right there? Fab Kids and uh, Fab Kids Mexican Problems. It's crazy. All these pages out there. Mama's Latina. We want to get rid of that one too. We don't want we don't want you know moms to shop on this site because I don't think moms would be interested in this stuff. Um, right here we'll do we'll do Mama's Latina and then we'll do uh, we did Baby Center. Baby Center. Let's see. So right here, Baby Center. Baby Center. And then we'll also do Mama Latinas. Mamas. Lat. Mama Latinas. Is that right? Latin. It looks like they're not available. Mamas Latina. Did I spell that right? Mamas Latina. Let's see here. Is that spelled right? It is Mamas Latinas. Maybe I didn't add the, the, the symbol. Mamas Lat. Okay, it looks like it's not, we, we don't know. You know, I think that's good enough though. So we're gonna go ahead and say that that is probably the best we can do for online clothing. Now you might want to narrow it down a little bit more. Connection types, this is for people who like your page. Um, I'm not going to do this because I want to reach new audiences. So I'm not going to set that. Placements, I'm going to leave that as automatic because remember that's going to give us information to decide if people are interested depending on where it is you know maybe 21 year old girls like to click the ads on the right side we don't know this so we have to run tests right so i'm going to leave that and then right here we're going to set our budget uh optimization for ad delivery i'm going to go ahead and select conversions because i want to convert i'm going to close this box they keep reminding me i get it uh, right here bid strategy i'm not going to do this because I want to, we need, we need to get information. We can do this a little bit later, but once we need, uh, we need information right here. And then right here, there's like, uh, there's, there's target cost. So what are you trying to get? Maybe something like $1 a person, but remember you may get the lowest cost, but we'll, you know, if, if the, the price is too low, the ad won't show. So remember that. So, you know, you can always do just lowest cost or you can do target cost. So once you get enough information and you kind of understand what you're selling at, you can then set the cost. Cause you're saying, you know, I know my audience will buy this for 50 cents. So I don't want to go above 60 cents. You know, you know what I mean? So maybe just the audience is having a bad day. You know, sometimes weird stuff happens in the world of, uh, you know, e-commerce. So the target cost, once you understand something, even it says right there, stable average cost. So once you know exactly what your audience will pay for something, you want to set it there. But we need to set it at lowest cost right now because we don't know and you don't want to set it as a bid cap because then your ad won't show if it goes too high. Okay, so, yep, yep, I know everything. So right here, uh, delivery type, we can leave it as standard because accelerated is for lifetime budgets. Now, guys, this is all new. So there used to be accelerated and then rotate evenly as well with Facebook ads a few years ago and everything just keeps changing. So even for myself, I have to continually look and understand and adapt to online marketing because online marketing just changes like that, changes really fast. So let's go to continue here. Now right here we have a carousel and then we have single image. You might want to use carousel for products because uh, with carousel they can kind of shop right there on the site you know, on Facebook to kind of see what you're offering. So right here, for example, I'm gonna select an image and I'll select this one right here. All right. And then for number two, We'll select another image. We'll select this one right here. And then for this one right here, we'll go ahead and select um, this girl right here. She's having a good time. You know, they're all having a good time. All right, so right here is the text that you're going to add that clearly tells people what you're promoting, you know? So 30, or uh, let's see, um, get the hottest trends. And then maybe you can do something like this right here, tag. Uh, here tag a friend who needs this and then right here you can put like women's you know clothing and etc so what I've just basically done is I've basically ta told people to start tagging people you know start mentioning people because a lot of girls do that you know a lot of girls will see something funny and say oh my god my, my girlfriend needs this you know so she can go ahead and click on that right there and etc so this right here is something great, you know, but right here I'll put like, um, you know, uh, two, two day sale only. And there you go. We have that sense of urgency. We have some tags, so it'll show up in the search results if someone searches for that. And then right here, expires Friday, 20% off all summer clothing, perfect. And then right here, destination URL, so where do you want to take them? So going back over here, wherever you're selling, you're gonna go ahead and take the product, and then you're going to just go ahead and paste it right there on where you want them to go. And then right there, parameters, you don't have to worry about that. Facebook pixel, again, 
Um, I have a tutorial on that if you are using a WordPress and if you're using Shopify, I'm sorry, I just cannot help, you know, don't down like my video, <laughs> all right? So right here, we can see what it looks like on a mobile feed. And right here, we can kind of get an example. So this is what the ad will look like right here. So right here, I mean, this is a perfect advertisement. We have the woman looking great. We have the sense of urgency. We have an offer and we have it. It's only two days. Use this coupon at checkout, tag a friend. So this is a fully optimal ad. So we're telling people to do something. We have a, a, a discount. We have a sense of urgency right here. This is a great advertisement to have. And um, it just takes work. You know, it just really takes work. So now that I have all my stuff right here, you know, seeing everything up here, it looks like everything's good. Uh, right now we are ready to confirm and create this advertisement. And then right there, you'll get notified once the ad's approved. And then right there, hopefully you make money. So I hope this video was very helpful. I think by now you get the idea of how to use Facebook ads. Um, it's virtually pretty simple. You just kind of have to mess around with it. Now let's just kind of look under the hood, take a look at my ads and see how I'm doing, you know, make sure I'm not some hypocrite. So right here, it looks like that I'm getting a clicks for around a dollar. Now my audience is very, very antisocial. So they're not like a lot of audience, you know, people in WordPress are a lot of developers. There are a lot of people who don't like to socialize too much. You know, I've met a lot of developers and you know, there's nothing against developers that don't socialize. It's just that's their personality. So, you know, they don't like to get involved too much on sales like that. So I'm not selling anything here. I'm just recommending products. So I'm an affiliate just like, um, you know, I'm an affiliate for, oh, well, I'm not an affiliate for any of those websites I introduced, but uh, I teach, you know, e-commerce websites, dropshipping, WordPress websites. So all of those links are in the description below. If you decide to use them, it's a free resource. I'm not going to make you buy no BS uh, program or you see all the guys on YouTube or like, Hey, I'll, I'll, you know, they're driving a Lamborghini. I'm just like, ugh, those guys come and go all the time on my website. It's or on my channel. I see like a new guy every week. I'm just like, Jesus, <laughs> you know, but uh, right here are some of my ads. So you know, my ads are not performing the best. I kind of want to get to like maybe 50 cents a click. So I might want to improve my ad, but you know, if someone buys something, you know, um, at least once I get my money back. So it's, it's worth it for me to advertise. So, you know, I hope this video was helpful. I really do. Uh, make sure it's to like it, make sure it's to share it. And again, some big tips of advice for you. If you are running a Facebook fan page is for this cover right here, you might want to use fiverr.com. Fiverr.com is a great resource on how to get really beautiful banners. This one right here was created with Fiverr. The link is below. See, I am an affiliate for Fiverr, you know, but if you buy it, if you buy something for $5, I make like 10 cents or something. That's really crazy. And again, you want to make sure that you are engaging you guys be consistent. That is it's, it's key. Being consistent is key on my YouTube channel here. I have an audience, but I only have it because I'm consistent. If I posted once every seven months, my audience probably won't check out my new content. So right here, I, I talked about something. Now, one big thing I should have said in the beginning of this video, and this is a big tip. Whenever you create an ad, like it, comment on it and like your comment. Okay. So right here, you can see that I made, I made a comment and I liked it and I like the comment. Now, why do I do this? Because when people see liking and commenting, they are more inclined to do it. In fact, liking is going to cost you a dollar from someone else. So why not just like it yourself and always try to add icons. So right now we have the, 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 this, we have the hearts, the more people see all those little, those little emojis and everything, it really encourages them. It's a psychological phenomenon. So right here I have the like, I have the comments and I like the comments. So I do that for most of my videos actually. So, uh, I'd have to do that for this one right here. This one got like hundreds of likes, but, um, I didn't do that for this one either. Kind of hypocritical. Uh, I think I did it for this one right here. Did I do it? No, I didn't do it. No. So it looks like I did not do that. So, uh, just go ahead and uh, like your own stuff and then comment on it and share it. And I hope the video was helpful. Uh, make sure to like it. Please let me know in the comments if there's anything I missed, if you wanted to know about anything else. I think I was pretty straightforward. I gave you an example of traffic engagement and conversions. So hopefully by now you are Facebook masters. All right. And also remember all those resources are in the description of this video for you. I hope it was helpful. Have fun advertising. Don't break your neck. All right. I will see you all in the next video.